Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video about Anel Ahmed Hodzic, I think I've pronounced that correctly, who has just signed for Sheffield United from Malmo, um, who he's ha had two spells at now, uh, he was part of their academy, uh, but left them in 2016 at the age of only 16, I think, uh, possibly 17. Um, to join Nottingham Forest, but he didn't break it through into the first team really, and uh, went back to Malmo three years later in 2019, and has had a couple of loan spells since most recently at Bordeaux for the past six months, and yeah, it's, it's become a valuable player to, it, well, what's a valuable player to Malmo, and also has um, become a starter for the Bosnia and Herzegovina national team, which I mean is impressive. Um, it's, it's his age and yeah I, I from what I've seen of him which isn't a lot I have watched him a, a few times live um, I, I remember in I think it was against Chelsea in the Champions League last season and from what I've seen of him um, he is if, like he I mean loves a tackle uh, for like he's a tall centre-back quite lanky not not like the most muscular or strongest or biggest, most imposing centre back ever, but uh, it is ab absolutely brilliant. It's uh, providing a piece, a, la a last ditch piece of defending. Uh, like he's, he's got long legs that can just uh, nick the ball off the striker at the la very last moment, just before they're about to pull the trigger. Um, and yeah, also just likes a crunch and tackle. Um, so. The championship is the place to be for him, let, let's be honest. Uh, from that criteria, the, the, the championship should seat him down to the ground um, with Sheffield United, so that, that should be a really good place. Obviously, he has been in the championship before with Nottingham Forest, but a bit too soon, more than likely. Um, so he's had a couple of years back in Sweden, and hopefully for him now, he should be uh, ready for the championship um, and so he's, he's also an aerial threat in the opposition box has scored a, a few goals from set pieces um, and he's also good on the ball as well which I mean you have to be like, there's, there's no room for footballers these days that can't actually play football um, like in, in modern day football you, you have to be able to uh, be comfortable with having the ball, passing it, uh, knocking it about, dribbling with it, bringing the ball forward if you're a centre-back. Um, so just the way football's evolved now, um, that's how all the best teams play. So, yeah, I, I don't know what, what this move will uh, bring for his career. It, it could be a long-term move at Sheffield United where they uh, spend the next few years just trying to break into... Uh, the pr back, get back into the uh, Premier League via the playoffs or through automatic promotion, then he might get his chance in the Premier League. Or alternatively, because he is the right age for a bigger team looking to buy another centre back, it could be that he has a very good season at Sheffield United and then one of the teams in the Premier League uh, look into the Championship and decide to bring him in and. Uh, take a gamble on him like Southampton we've seen do that for championship players over the past few years West Ham as well so there's lot, lots of examples of that happening um, I, I mean considering he's just signed for Sheffield United I think um, the ideal scenario is that he helps them get promoted and because you, you know you, you don't want to be talking about a player moving on from a club he's only just joined a couple of weeks ago um, so yeah, that that would be the ideal scenario, especially for Sheffield United fans. Um, but yeah, I, th I think he'll be a very good player for them, and uh, yeah, exciting to see what he can uh, contribute to the Sheffield United team. Um, so yeah, I think he's a very very good player, and will continue playing for his national team. Hopefully, he can help get them to uh, a tournament in the coming years, and. Yeah, I think he'll be a very good player. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.